Hello everyone, and Hazuki here, back with another video for the Shenmue 1 and 2 collection. And today I'll be doing a step-by-step -step guide for the map glitch in Shenmue 2, along with a couple of good areas to practice on. Now, for those not in the know, the map glitch is an infamous glitch in the original version of Shenmue 2 that allows you to get out of bounds in pretty much any area that has a staircase, which pretty much is every area in the game. This is a pretty sweet glitch and thankfully it hasn't been patched in the Shenmue 1 and 2 collection and is pretty interesting uh, to do this glitch for those that, like me, have played this game to absolute death. So let's get into how to do this glitch. To give yourself the easiest price to practice on, I suggest you go to the giant staircase outside of Manmo Temple. Make sure you buy the map at the bottom of the staircase. Now press triangle or Y to access the system options in game or the equivalent button on PC and look at the map option. You want to go into it so you can see the map and then back out. You want to then go up to the staircase to a decent height, say around halfway. And then when you're ready, you want to press and hold the run button to get Ryo to do his running animation. And with the run button still held down, press the circle button and then the triangle button in very quick succession. Or, if you're on Xbox, press the B button and then the Y button in quick succession. If you've done this successfully, the map screen will display on the screen and the red dot on, on the map will continue to move. Actually, it will, it will continue to move by its own, so you only need to um, use the D-pad to move the red dot around. Now, what's great about this is you can now move Rio out of loading zones. And when you press the circle or B button to back, back out of the uh, map screen, it will then warp you to wherever the red dot is on the screen. So, if you, for example, wander past where the game would typically stop you and load the next area, you can then continue walking forward. It won't load the area up. And then when you back out, it will then warp you past the loading zone. And then you can then wander around and see lots of things you were never supposed to see. Now, this is a fiddly glitch to get right, and it might take you numerous attempts to get working. However, once I found I got this down, I pretty much started to do this on any staircase I saw in the game. Because um, you don't necessarily have to do this on a massive stairs. You could, for example, go to the Come Over Guest House, do the map glitch on the tiny uh, stairs there, and then you can walk through into guest rooms and see the closed guest rooms you're never supposed to see. And then you can drop out of the room entirely and start wandering around uh, the area. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if this video has proven useful. Or if you have any issues, give me a shout and I'll try and help out. I'll leave you with a few cool areas to, uh, to try this glitch on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Excuse me? Yes. Do you know the... You... What's that mean? I'll tell you, but... Would you please? The heavens, there's probably no one. I see. Which way to... Are you going? Yes. This doesn't have any... Well... In that case... Please tell me. I see. It's faster to go past the stands and turn left. There's a shortcut on the way to the South Carmain Quarter. From there, if you come out into the Green Market Quarter, Aberdeen is right there. Would you please tell me more? Turn right before the red gate at the south from there. I understand.